Hey, what's up? In today's video, we are taking a look at one of the exciting browsers that seems to take over the world and it's Arc Browser. It has command bar, notes, library, collaboration, whiteboard, sidebar, customization and much more. So let's have a look. Before getting to the video, if you want to download this browser, you can head to the first link in the description below. First of all, let's talk about the design and UI of the browser. It's a Chromium based browser, but it looks nowhere close to that. Unlike other browsers where you have all the tabs and bookmarks on the top here you have it on the left side i was not used to this but eventually it started to feel better than the top bar as you can see i have all my favorites here i have spotify notion calendar and whatsapp so i can access these anytime then i have pin tabs so these tabs stays here below that i have tabs that i'm working on like looking for some desk accessories etc arc browser automatically moves unused tabs to the archive tabs after 12 days now if i want to open a new tab i can either click here on the new tab or i can press command t so we can open google.com along with that we have more shortcuts to operate this browser like archive tabs clear unpinned tabs clear downloads etc what's cool about this browser is that we have spaces unlike other browsers like chrome and firefox where you have created new profiles to manage your personal and professional work here on the arc we can create multiple spaces for now i have made one for personal and one for work so i can sort all my tabs which is a big relief from looking at all these tabs mess though when switching spaces it won't switch your logins until you make a new profile and for that go to file new profile and it will ask you to link this profile with one of your spaces so whenever you switch spaces it will not carry forward your logins you can have different accounts in different spaces and switching between these spaces is seamless we can just click these icons or just press ctrl plus one or plus two to switch we can also customize these spaces to some extent like we can set icons change color and texture that's pretty much it for the sidebar you can also hide it if you like by pressing command plus s and when you hover over it it will appear same with the extension bar so when you hover over here you will see the all the extensions you can pin them too along with that we have this thing a split view so this is a new feature that you are about to witness in a browser when i click on that i can use two tabs at the same time let's move this to the right side and select our second tab now i can watch videos and work at the same time or if you want to read a tab from one tab and write on the other tab you can do that moving on to the next big thing about this browser is notes and easel so arc browser is not only a browser but it also works as a note taking app yeah that's crazy now it won't be like a full-fledged note taking app like the craft app but if you want to take some notes like quick notes or checklist you can use the arc browser for that purpose to make one just go to file and new note or you can use control and shortcut so here we can write or add photos and there's also an option at the bottom to share this note and just like tabs we can move it to our favorites or pin it now let's talk about easel you can look at easel as a place for brainstorming your ideas let's create a new easel to do that just go to file and click new easel and you can again use a control shift e shortcut a whiteboard will appear where you can do all sorts of things like text, arrows, images and shapes. You can collaborate with multiple people by sharing this easel. You can do so from the bottom corner. Talking about the screenshots, there is a new way in this browser to take screenshots. Let me show you. Normally you take screenshot by pressing the command shift 3 on a Mac and then you crop the required part or you press command shift 4 or and drag a box. But it's not very accurate here in this browser just press command shift 2 and you will get this camera on your cursor and then you can hover over any area you want to snip and it will automatically select that area for you you just click and it will take the screenshot isn't that cool and you still have the option to drag and take the screenshot by holding command shift the traditional way another useful feature with this browser the arc browser is library library can be accessed from the bottom corner and here we have all the downloaded files desktop and easel so it becomes handy when you want to quickly upload a file and access a file and so on and again you have the shortcut assigned to that and that's pretty much it i think i covered most of the things it's still in a beta and you might see some bugs but they are heading in the right direction i think to download the arc browser you need to sign up for an invite and it will arrive in a couple of days don't worry you can check out the link in the description for sign up and i'll try to give 
some invite codes in the comments below so make sure you comment what are your thoughts on this like share subscribe stay safe bye bye